IDEA bestows honors award for outstanding performances and community impact on sons and daughters. In a historic event on July 6, 2024, the Idore Development Assembly IDA presented honors awards for outstanding performances and community impact to notable descendants. The honorees include Chief Sir Pius Akinyelure, Justice Sunday Akinola Akintan, Chief Princess Omolara Ogomudia, Ni Ogunlowo, and posthumously late Prince Afolabi Ayinola and late High Chief Gabriel Akindeko, the event intended to celebrate the contributions of these illustrious individuals became a landmark for future generations, symbolizing unity and development in Idori. <laughs>
you have made today a good day for us. Thank you for giving us clement weather. We appreciate you for making all those states governable who are governor. Thank you for making the state a peaceful state. Be now exalted in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, we thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you for joining messages for our visitors that traveled from various places to this place. Our Father, I say that thanks in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Chief Dr. Anthony Omolola, President General of the IDA, expressed gratitude to attendees and highlighted Idore's economic potentials in agriculture and tourism. On behalf of the people, Dr. Omolola appealed for the establishment of a higher institution in Idore. He also announced the inauguration of the Idore Development Assembly Foundation, IDAF, to be chaired by Sir Chief Pius Akinyelure. <laughs> It is my honor to welcome you all on behalf of His Imperial Majesty, Oba Dr. Frederick Adebule Aroloe Arumiye Bini Paul, JPOFA, the Owa and Paramount Ruler of the United Kingdom. In the Development Assembly, IPA, and all Makari, who and in the diaspora, to this unique occasion of giving a befitting civic reception for our own son, Chief Pius Oluwale Akiyadure, and awards for our illustrious sons and daughters. Chief Pius Oluwale Akiyadure has contributed in no mayor to the general development of the United Kingdom, and so worthy of this celebration today. We see him as the new Akindeko of the United Kingdom. We have confidence in you, sir. That is why we are all gathered today to give you this defeating reception in your own town, the oldest city that is rocky and has the topography. I also specially welcome all very important dignitaries who have come from various parts of the world with our son, Chief Sapphires, the Rumore Aki Enrule, to witness this special occasion of honoring him. May God Almighty continue to keep Let Chief Gabriel Aki Neko All have contributed their quotas to the general development of our kingdom. Our idea is that a bonus award will henceforth be a yearly event in order to recognize and celebrate those that have contributed and are contributing to the development of our kingdom. In an international city, one of the most of a beautiful natural landscape in Nodoste and Nigeria at large. This city is set on a hill with unique topography that sets it out as a city to behold with a population of over 200,000. What are we known for? Agriculture. Italy is endowed with fertile soil, which is considered most suitable for cultivation of cocoa, with large concentration of cocoa farms, is clearly a very major cocoa producing area in Nigeria, accounting for over 25% of cocoa produced in the nation, thereby contributing greatly to the idea of Olusti. We are known for timber. In other words, with its large forest landmass, in other states, makes available opportunity for timber produ production, which is a major trade for the community. 
and contributes to the idea of Ondoke alongside Kuku tourism. In a return potentials are unique with a day of peace that are over 3,000 feet above the sea level. The hole is a return located at the top of the hills with its relics, which have made her become a prominent tourist destination in Nigeria and has been added to the UNESCO World Heritage Tentative List since 8th of October 2007. Tourism is only finding interesting and basic and catching form when climbing the over 600 steps to get to the old Idari Park. Idari Park's potentials are good, improperly harnessed by government and private sector can provide a lot of resources to transform all those things and bring her to prosperity. Our challenge is, despite the fact that it has contributed enormously to the idea of all those things, her role in construction is in the state of the case, and other social amenities are grossly inadequate in our community. Tourism. Tourism development in Italy has been practically abandoned by government at the state and the national levels. The whole potentials are crying for attention and it serves as a major catalyst for community development and good source of revenue for the state and the nation at large. Let me bring to the attention of His Excellency the banking dispute with our neighbor. Recently, again, there has been locations that our neighbor has encroached to into the land. And for this, we employ our governor, His Excellency, Ori Misan, not with Ayeda Tua, to use his good offices to prevail as to avoid further loss or any loss of life and agricultural produce. This land climate has been terrorizing our community, destroying our economic growth, economic plants, and we have decided to maintain peace because our candidacy is a man of peace. But we want this to stop export so peace continues to remain in the industry. Partially institution. In a soliciting from government, both at the federal and the state level, Representing His Imperial Majesty, Oba Dr. Friedrich Adegunle Aroloye Arubiethi the Fourth, High Chief Emmanuel Adetui, praised the awardees for their significant contributions to Idonre's development. He called on the state government to address the invasion of Idonre land by Akure people and improve the road access to the kingdom. <laughs> Thank you. 
Governor Loki Ayedatiwa commended Chief Akin Elure for his honorable and selfless service in various capacities. He described Akin Elure as a humble leader who has contributed to Nigeria, his family, and the church. The governor congratulated the awardees and assured Idori of better governance, noting that the region would benefit from a state water project due to its topography. <laughs> more efficient and productive for this nation. At this age, it is still sad. I'm not surprised because uh, even at 99, God called me back and said, now, one down before me and the dreamless. That is a new work at 99. And I'm not sure about it's up to 99 years. So, we still answer many calls. And God will grant you the health and the wisdom to continue to serve this nation. Now, because I've interacted with Baba for some years now, I remember one day, maybe Baba will remember this. You know, it was during the 2015 2016 when the vice president was serving, the vice president then, His um, Excellency Yemi Oshiba, was served with the responsibility of touring the Niger Delta State, trying to address the crisis in Niger Delta. And he came to Odo State, particularly uh, like the local government, my local government, and I was not holding any political office. And Baba uh, came also with, with him, because he is from the state of Africa. So I think God for that at the end of the program, and um, when the people left, so Baba saw me and called me, hey, ah, are you that you want? I feel you this day, you can't even tell you, you know that you know to me, and if I go here, come and go. He came to my house, he went and drank. You know, you know that we were very, very close, but that tells me something about his personality, his 
very, very relational. Very calm, very gentle. Um, Baba is very friendly. Simplicity, very simple. And is a leader that leads with pride in that arrogance. Very, very clear. He leads with pride in that arrogance. He can identify with you. He, wants to. he actually look out for people. He will call you. Most of the time, he's the one that will call support. Are you that working with the room too? As opposed to be the one to call and give him feedback of what is happening in our school, but it's more than And each time he calls, he will first always have his things within the community. That is the path for you. He knows what he can look out for, his friends. No wonder the president cannot do without him. We call them five and six. <laughs> Having such some somebody, this personality you should emulate some of the good qualities. I know that why is happening. I think the one I can see, that is the one I will see. Mommy is the one that will tell us to remember. <laughs> because I'm not privy to to know all that. But I know one thing that I is good. So I want to congratulate you for this honor. And I want to thank the organizers of this event for having Dr. Myers and the well-being of this honor. What you have done for all of these sons and daughters and young that are called today is a way of also uh, gingering others to develop themselves and to serve. That is always honor that is attached, attached to service. Thank you for putting this together. I also want to thank all the uh, sons and daughters that are not members of the uh, development assembly that are here to act that I identify with the, the assembly and to attend this function. And all of those that are not even from the uh, that are here, a large number, I appreciate your coming. Thank you for coming here. And for all the awardees, especially those who are alive, is a call to more service to your mother and life. In our honor, it's a, it's a little to do more. It's a every tree that bear fruit will be pruned to be able to bear more. Today you are being honored so that you can do more. Keep doing what you are doing. Uh, the public is looking at you. The public is looking at us. Whatever we do, every office that we occupy. So I want to pray for Baba that God will keep you in that, and give you more wisdom, and give your strength, so that even at the outward man or even man will be renewed on daily basis to be able to do more for our man for our Once again, congratulations. God bless you. Responding on behalf of the awardees, Sir Chief Pius Akinye Lure, Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, expressed gratitude and pledged further commitment to service. He encouraged others to give back to society and urged youth to engage in farming to combat food shortages and unemployment. <laughs>
Chief Engineer Benson Ajishegiri, Chairman of the Central Planning Committee for the IDA Honors Award, noted that the awardees were truly deserving and thanked all contributors and attendees for their support. On the existing protocol for the month of time, so that we're not repeating all I have been said. Let me begin by giving glory to God for making today a reality for inner people. I give glory to God because uh, this arrangement came just about three weeks ago, and we never knew that it would be this big. But today, God has made it a very big event for us in time, and it's quite memorable to him be all the glory forevermore. Next, I want to especially congratulate the families of Sanji Files and the family of Justice and Kitam, the family of Prince Afolami Ayinola, the family of Mrs. Lara Kumbia, and the biggest one for our great grandfather, the family of Chief Akineko, for this well-deserved honors that the people have bestowed on them today. I will say that it is a well-deserved honor, why? Because as the chairman of the selection committee, we have to scream and scream and scream to ensure that we are giving honor to those that deserve it. Please let's give them a round of applause. We also want to specially appreciate His Excellency, our governor, our action governor, our dynamic governor, our able governor, our portrait governor. Thank you, sir, for coming. To break this occasion, not only come here alone, you mobilize your entire cabinet to be here. So we thank you. We don't have enough work to thank you, sir. We have the deputy governor here. We have the secretary to the state government here. We have the chief of staff. We have the speaker. We have the entire house of assembly. We have the state executive council all present here to honor our father today. Thank you so much for that. We are grateful to our royal fellows for coming here today. The Yoshima will of the door. We thank your father. Thank you, sir, for coming. When we learned you are coming, we were excited and you didn't let us down. God bless you, sir. We thank you. I was so here of a Nare for coming to greet this occasion. We thank the regent of Palade Nare for his support and for what he has been doing to ensure their unity in, in Arena. Words are not enough for all that you are doing and God will bless you. We sincerely appreciate all the Urus, all the Males, of all the daughters of Inari that came a large number to be here today to honor all the our needs. We give thanks to all of our greater honors, the six of us that have also come here today. We thank you, sir, for coming to attend this ceremony. We not to thank all our political leaders for all political parties in Nari that have come here today. We for even acceding to our request that today is not a political slogan. That today is for the development and everybody has complied. Thank you all for coming and making this place peaceful today for us. Thank you so much. We thank all our spiritual leaders using the Bishop of Methodist Church as a point of contact that gave us the opening here here today. We thank the chief imam that have been in the hall and prayed the hand us for this occasion to be peaceful today. Thank you, sir, for coming to attend this meeting. We thank the family and other well-wishers of all the awardees. 
I hope you're well with us today. I have uh, Dr. Musa who I will single out. Made by former permanent secretary. Came all the way from Abuja. Thank you. I am late for coming to attend this occasion. We thank all of us that came from all walks of life, many traveling from abroad, to be here today. We thank you all. We also want to thank all the mandaries, those that we call and they answer our calls for home and abroad. Here today is an occasion that has been organized with the resources of ordinary people. We did not call on chief to give us money, we did not call on government to give us money. We said we are going to celebrate our father, we are going to give honors to where these half people in Nari and everybody. <laughs> Mr. Governor, sir. With your permission, let me just observe. I will not be standing on good to this hotel. One day, people will not collapse. So let me not stop that. Permission, <laughs> You are able to stop and approve the vaccine's office instead of three that you are. So, I want to go to the room. I want to go to the room. Committee, that we are able to do it. So, what we want to do is to do it. What I say, I never can see you. 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 I probably remember too when I was with the Commissioner for Water Resources, Public Sanitation and Engine. When I went to him, ah, Sunday, he was really okay. But when he said, "Mummy, see, he said, 'Kuga de Roche, you call me. He said, 'Kuga de Roche, you call me. No, 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 I want water for the people, not just the people, but the center secondary district. And to the glory of God now, uh, within the next couple of weeks or not months, people from Abuja, all of us will be here in the Dori, not just the Dori, the center secondary district of Akure South, Akure North, and Fedore, the Dori, Odo Westside.
she not part a member of the Igbo Royal House. Between 1992 and 1937, the school in Igbo to St. Peter's Lagos and Government College, GCI, before attending Yaba College. As an engineering student at all levels, he was cited for his academic brilliance and sportsmanship. Between 1937 and 1947, he was schoolmaster with the Ministry of Education as where he helped grow many of today's top academicians and administrators. Between 1952 and 1954, Chairman, Chief Akuda was Chairman in the District Council where he built Steps into the field. He is still renowned today for helping to ensure water and electricity to Italy ahead of larger towns like Akure and Ondo. We have a lot to talk about Chief Akin Deco, but uh, because of all his uh, commitments and contributions to the development of Italy, that is why he is being honored today. Hi Chief Gabriel Akindeko, the Lisa at the Joy of Ntori. He was the Bashanu of Ineoluji, the Sanawe of Oro. He was the Aragana of Akoi Land and the Ogbala of Ndepe. Hi Chief Akindeko was the father, a husband, brother, friend and statesman. And today we are honoring him. He died peacefully in his sleep in a London hospital with his wife and several children at his bedside. And the and the deputy and the secretary. And the deputy and the deputy Thank you. Prince Abulabi Isaac Ayinola was born to the family of late Prince Joseph. I and His grandfather, Park Prince Ayinola, was the top son of Oba to who are doing our music. Being a member of the Royal of Bola ruling House of Italy, made Afula be to be passionate about the development and improvement of the Italy Kingdom. His good activities in the Italy are two levels for this He often rebelled, he won't cause him to be Afula B, he will insist I am a prince. He started his primary education as a student primary school for Wena and later got his primary system as a as a poor primary school leader. He proceeded to the Grammar School of State and he obtained his high school certificate from Usain College, Wena in December 1964. Uh, he left after he resigned from the RRC before his education. After graduating from the University of Ife, now I will know the University of Ife in Osho State, 1973. Uh, he resigned from the NPF in February 1981 to join the Royal Bank PLC as a bank personnel manager. He rose to the ranks to become the assigned general manager and influenced uh, many his own sons of Idori and the daughters of Idori to various organizations. Uh, he was survived by Mrs. Mary Ayinola, Adeke Ye, and Abie Lua, Adeko, and Honor of Femi, Adeke Ro, and Angela Lua, and many grandchildren. Please let us put our hands together for this illustrious son and a very, very, a man that is worthy of emulation, a man that has set his mark for others to follow. This is the first time to get for the late prince. And you know that, thank you.
In the same vein, Dickin Honorable Mayokun Akimoladun, Chairman Publicity Committee, remarked that the award is to serve as an encouragement to our past heroes and motivation to those that are in position of authority to think about their community. <laughs> Everything in life is local. There's nowhere the federal government we're talking about do not have their own land. It is a land that is existing in one local government. In this political era that we're talking about, you cannot even play politics without having local base. There's no national where you want to vote. You go back to your base to vote. So whatever anything, if that comes, you come back to your base to be buried. By the time you have been born, you have been born in your own base. So everything is local and localized and at the same time we are trying as much as possible for people to be back to their own community so those that have done we want to use it to encourage them and to also inform the young people and the those that are coming up that think about your past think about your home that people be able to and we do not want to be remembering people even after them we want to be talking good about them in their present and this is one of the reasons why we are organizing this thing today i want to thank the organizers the president general YGA, Chief Doctor Anthony A. Omalala, and the Chairman of the Planning Committee, uh, Engineer Dr. Benson Akirodu. Uh, These are people the... that have worked tirelessly, you know, in collaboration with all Only other members the of the committee. Thank God for the beginning, by the time the started, you know, the initiation came, and uh, we put it in practice, and here we are today. So we have formed in the Honors Award. It's going to be a yearly event.
Dignitaries at the event include Mele Kiari, Group Managing Director of NNPC, Managing Director of Nexim Bank, Captains of Industry, His Excellency Olayide Adelami, Deputy Governor of Ondo State, Right Honorable Obayori Akiruntan, Speaker of the Ondo State House of Assembly, and His Imperial Majesty Oba Dr. Victor Adesimbo, Kiladejo de Oshemawe, and Paramount Ruler of Ondo Kingdom. Mr. Omogbemi Olowo Konde, MD of Omer's Commodities, Adelanke Akimoladu, reporting for Platinum TV. 